Hi everyone, welcome back. Now let's uh, see the program on inheritance. In the previous video, I explained about the basic concept of the inheritance, types of the inheritance. Now let's work on the program. So here are created a two classes, class A, class B. So the class B is a subclass, whereas class A is a superclass because class B is extending the features of class A. So A becomes a superclass and B is a subclass. And within the subclass, I had written the main function also. Okay. So, uh, first try to write the program. I'm taking, creating one instance variable and initialize with the uh, five value. Int x is equal to five. It's an instance variable and an instance method. Okay. So, instance method, let Take system dot out dot print ln. So try to print some message like I'm printing a class. Okay. So void close and class A is also closed. So now I enter into the class B. So here also I created, I'm creating one instance variable into y is equal to 10 and instance method void print. So here try to print uh, system dot out dot print ln. So try to print the message, any message, whatever you want. I'm printing the B class. Okay, void method close. So enter into the main. So within the class B only, I'm writing the main function. So if you want to allocate a access these variables, you need to create an object. First of all, if you want to access these uh, uh, variables, first try to allocate a memory. When the memory will be allocated to instance variables and the instance method, when an object is created. Okay, when object is created, first memory is allocated with the help of that object reference, you can access instance variables as well as the methods. Okay, with the help of the object reference. Okay, now here the question is, which object I need to be created? B class object or A class object? Suppose if I create an object for A class, only the memory is allocated to the A, uh, A class methods only. For A class methods only, the memory will be allocated. So if I created an object for the B class, then the memory allocates to both A class methods as well as the B class methods because Class B extends the features of the A. Whenever class B is loaded, okay, first it extends the features, whatever the methods are there. First it extends all the A class methods, then it will work on the B class. Okay, so try to create an object for the B, A, B class. B, OB is equal to new B. So B class object is created. Now, Try to access the instance variable system dot out dot print NL with the help of object reference. OB is the object reference and X. System dot out dot print ln OB dot Y. Okay. So try to call the methods also with the help of the object reference ob dot show and ob dot print. So what will be the expected output? So public method closed and the class b is also closed. Okay. Try to save the program. Now what happened here? So what is what will be the expected output? So first class b is loaded. And extends the features, extends the features of the A. Okay. So main method call first object is created for B class object is created. So whenever the B class object is created, it extends the features of the A also. So A class object is also means uh, memory is also allocated for the A, A, A class methods. So Memory allocated to B class methods as well as the A class methods. Okay. So first OB dot X. OB dot X means. So whatever the X value is there that is going to be printed. Next system dot out dot print and OB dot Y. 
So OB dot Y controller comes to here and it takes the, it tries to print the 10. Next OB dot show. So A class is printed and next B class is printed. So the expected output is 5, 10, A, B. So now let's see what will be the output. Save the program. So already saved it. Okay. So open the command prompt. Java C. What is the file name? Sample. Sample.java. No errors. Now compile. What class name? you have to give the main method wherever the main method is pre present that class name you have to give so the main is present in class b so you have to run the program java b see here 5 10 a class and the b class okay so let's take suppose uh, first i'm writing i'm creating the b class object then ob.x is printing. Now I am calling after printing x, x value, I am calling the ob.show. Next y is printing and ob.y. So what will be the expected output? First 5 is printed. Next a class is printed. Next 10 is printed. Next b class is printed. Let's see. So Java C sample dot Java, Java B. See here. First five is printed, A class, 10 and the B class. Okay. Suppose if I uh, take print here. Okay. So first A class uh, variable is printed. Next, I'm calling the B class method. Again, I'm going back and printing, uh, I'm printing the B class value and then I'm calling the A class method. So expected output is 5, B class, 10, A class. Let's see. Compile it. Now run. See, 5, B class, 10, A class. So this is the way you have to acquire the methods of superclass in the subclass. So here I want to give a clarity on, let me write. Okay, so let's tell A class OB1, I created A class object. Is it right or wrong? You can create so, but you can access only A class methods only. Memory is allocated only to A class method. Memory allocates to A class method only. So, this syntax is acceptable. And next, suppose OB2. So, new. So, B class object is created. So, here memory allocates to both A as well as B. So, this is also accepted. Next, A, O, B, 3, new B. Is it true or false? Means I am creating B class object, okay, but A reference. A reference, B class object with A reference. Okay, this is also accepted. But B, let me take O, B, 4, new A. Is this accepted? I am creating A class object, but with B reference. What I said, if I create an A class object, the memory allocates to only A methods. Only A methods. But here I am allocating to B. So this syntax is not possible in the inheritance. So this 3 is valid. This 3 is valid. And the last one is not valid. Because when you create an object for A method, A class, super class, the memory allocates to only the superclass method. It will not allocate it to the B. But here I am uh, taking the reference of B. So it's not possible. So I hope you get it. And remember students, uh, po one point is, 
uh, okay i'll continue in the next video so let's take one more program and we will work on it and we'll get a complete clarity on inheritance concept thank you